So one of the other um, areas of interest that was expressed was sort of getting a better sense of what a Yale scholarship means. And I think at this point, it's worth noting that all of the aid at Yale is need-based, as distinct from merit-based. So no one at Yale um, is awarded money because they run fast, kick the ball far, play first chair violin, or scored perfectly on the SATs. Our philosophy is that everyone who is admitted has merit. They deserve to be here. And then it's our responsibility to make a Yale education financially feasible for them. Um, and that changes the dynamic of the student body because everyone understands that they have deservedness, that they belong here and they have their own ways to contribute. Now, clearly, merit-based money is going to be out there for lots of students, and it's a serious and a legitimate consideration. Um, but we don't want cost of attendance or scholarship or money to be a determining factor in where a student ultimately enrolls. We want it to be driven by their fit with that environment, by their potential contribution, and the growth possibilities. So I'll talk a little bit more about the Yale scholarship and what form that takes, and also how we arrive at that. And, and I'll ask uh, Stephanie in Arizona to talk a little bit about how this factored into their decision-making process when they were comparing options and considering you know, the campus community that they would call home for the next four years. Okay. So the Yale scholarship is actually the, the result of what we call demonstrated need. It's meant to fill the portion of demonstrated need. And that demonstrated financial need is calculated by looking at the total cost of attendance, which includes things like tuition, room, board, books, transportation, personal expenses, and more. Okay? Now that amount at Yale is about $65,000 a year, which is not an insignificant price. But it is worthy of note here that the average grant gift money, Yale scholarship money given to each student, is about $43,000 per year, and even more than that for international students. So clearly it's not going to be um, a, really a determining factor necessarily. It doesn't have to be a determining factor in and of itself, because we will make it feasible um, for students and families to enroll. What's really great about Yale giving need-based aid to everyone is that it means that when you're in a classroom and when you're in extracurricular activities, there is no divide. There are not the merit scholars and everybody else. Uh, and so everybody has the opportunity to, su to su succeed here. Um, everybody has the same opportunities for research and internships, and there's not a divide on the campus between those who are merit scholars and those who aren't. And that was something that I was considering um, when I was looking at a merit scholarship in another school and coming here was how would this play into my actual experience on the campus and um, how would that kind of encourage me to interact or not interact with different parts of the campus and so when I was thinking about Yale and thinking about how um, the need-based aid really contributed to the campus I was really excited to think about how the every classroom would be socioeconomically diverse and diverse in so many different ways um, and that there wouldn't be um, kind of any divide based off of um, something that was already predetermined and so that was kind of a really exciting thing about the community here, that I think that um, having this scholarship that is need-based and that is a grant and not a loan um, really helps kind of to foster on campus and practice. Mm -hmm. I know another issue with a merit-based scholarship can be that uh, a lot of times it'll come with strings attached. Mm -hmm. So some of my friends have merit-based scholarships. They have to maintain a certain GPA. They can't switch their major for whatever reason because it, their, their scholarship is specific to an interest they had already decided on earlier. And so I know here at Yale, um, because our scholarship doesn't hinge on our academic performance or the, the major we decide to do, we have a lot more liberty in deciding the classes we want to take and, and how much time we want to commit to academics versus extracurriculars and things of that nature.